welcome back guys so yesterday i taught you how to create a calculator layout so today as i promised it will be the implementation part so let's quickly run the application and see how it looks so iphone x running so we are not going to do any designing part today so it's like straight away implementation so we will be coding uh, it should be quick so run fast bro so it's working so let's get those buttons working so let's stop the application hop over to our view controller that's all we need so view controller it's here i'll increase this like size of the view and this one as well uh, we don't need the, this left bar so just coding first uh, we need to create an enum for our operations so enum will be call it operation operation and it will be of type string open brackets so there will be case cases so first case will be let's say it's add so case add equal to so you will pass in the sign here okay so then case subtract subtract equal to minus then we will say case divide equal to divide case multiply multiply equal to uh, multiply and last case will be empty case so when we initialize so we will set it to empty or I don't like the word empty let's say null null case or we can say yeah null case I like the word null case so null and let's make this capital so uh, this should work now we, uh, we need to declare some variables so variable running number so guys uh, this running number is the uh, we will keep track of the numbers which we press like the one which are displayed on the screen and the number which is going on currently okay so initialize it to uh, empty string now we will initialize left value so left value uh, if you recall from your math classes whenever we perform operations there is always uh, operands and operator so in calculator most of the operators are uh, binary operators so that means that uh, there is one operator and there are two operands so there is a left operand then it's an operator then a right operate uh, right operand so left operand is a left value so empty string variable right value and the reason we are taking it as a string is we can straight away display and do all the stuff we need but uh, when it comes to calculation we will like cast it to double okay so just uh, and uh, we need one for result so result will be empty string as well and now we need one for operation so we will say current operation and this will be of type operation and we will initialize it just press dot and you should get the suggestions and we will initialize it to null so under view did load we just need to do one thing we will change our text so output label dot text equal to we will change it to zero so first of all let's play with the number so if number is pressed what we need to do we will do running number plus equal to string interpolation and we will send in our sender dot tag if you recall from the previous video that uh, we assigned each and every number its tag relevant to its number so if it's zero sender dot tag will be zero and so on and now we need to display this number so it will be output label dot text equal to running number that's simple right and we will uh, come back to the all clear part later first let's do the dot part so let's do running number plus equal to and this time we don't need to pass in tag we just need to pass in a dot so output label dot text equal to running number okay and let's run the application and see what happens so there is a key part here so let's start typing so one two three four five six seven eight nine and 
999 and if we press like too many numbers uh, we see this and uh, one more logic is that I will run it again and I'll show you uh, we will limit uh, number of entries to 9 and we will lim uh, we also need to do one thing so we will do it like 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and we will have at most 9 uh, so the count will be 9 and including the dot so and one more thing we need to check is the last element is not dot okay so let's get uh, that thing going so first will be if running number dot count is less than or equal to we will say let's do 8 here because uh, this adds up to 9 and I guess it works so tap this out and for the dot pressed it will be if running number is less than or equal to 7 because last character cannot be a dot and we will tap this out as well and uh, let's uh, uh, make our all clear function as well so we will just reset everything so running number is equal to this left value is equal to null uh, like empty string right value will be empty as well current operation will be dot null and anything else we need to reset our result as well so result will be nothing and we will display text so output label dot text uh, equal to we will set it to zero so let's run this thing and this will be running number dot count so that is something we forgot i guess because it's a string we need dot count and uh, the application is loading so this is still not the core part of the tutorial so let's do 72.9999876 and you will notice we cannot like press more buttons that's good say all clear let's do it again one two three four five six seven eight and after nine we cannot have dot operator so let's do it again one two three four five six seven eight and after eight okay after 8 we cannot have it either because uh, we will be running out of our length so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 dot 8 so see guys uh, this is uh, this is a constraint i prefer to have and to imitate apple's calculator uh, you can change it to your comforts okay i am not stopping you from doing that so we are done with the view dot, uh, did load part we are done with the all clear part we are done with the dot press part so the only thing we are left with is the operations okay so let's create a function for operation so function operation and open brackets and here we will pass in an operation and this will be of our type enum so we will pass in a enum here and open brackets so first if uh, we will check if operation uh, if current operation is not equal to dot null okay so this means that uh, this is the first time the operator is pressed and we need to store the left value in else okay so this mean else means this is the operator after left okay so here uh, else we will set the left value to running number and running number to nothing and we will set our operation uh, we will set our current operation to let's say operation so we will just pass in the operation we just pressed okay so that next time the number is pressed we can calculate and next we will check for empty string so if running number is not equal to empty then we, uh, this time it's the turn for write value so write value will be running number and running number set it to null okay and now we will start performing our calculation so first we will check for if current operation is equal equal to dot add then we will do this else if 
current operation is equal equal to dot subtract then we do this else if current operation is equal equal to dot multiply then we do this else if current operation is equal equal to dot divide uh, this stuff it's something redundant you can like just fast forward it I don't mind so for the add we will say result equal to open uh, string interpolation we will be performing operations in inside string interpolation so first we need to cast our values to uh, double so here we will pass in a left value and exclamation mark because we are down casting we are casting string to double and this is add so plus operator and once again double open close brackets here goes right value and exclamation as well so just copy this part <laughs> that's pretty simple and paste it here paste it here paste it here and uh, what we need to do now is change the signs so this will be minus this should be multiply and this should be divide so now what we do is we change uh, our left value okay so if we need to perform more operations we'll change our left value to our result okay and now we will display the result so we will say output label dot text equal to result and so after the if running number part so if you select this uh, the running number part should be covered after that say current operation is equal to operation okay that's it that's it so let's start performing the operations under add so add will be let's say uh, operation and here here we will pass in add and here we will say operation here we will pass in subtract because it's subtract for here we will say operation we will say dot multiply and for divide it will be operation dot divide and for equals it will be just like operation uh, current operation cool that's simple let's run and see uh, it works or not it's it, it should work okay it every time it every time does so let's do 7 plus 7 and we should get 14 so let's do 8 by 2 we get 16 so 9 plus 9 is 18 and let's try divide 9 divided by 2 we get 4.5 and now the best part of this application is let's do 8 plus 8 okay and equal to now select the number and just press equal it will just add it to your previous uh, previous result and it will also uh, keep store of your uh, operator okay so you don't need to divide again so let's try 9 divide by 3 so 3 and if I again div uh, just press 3 and equal so it's 3 divide 3 1 so that's the best part so the problem here is let's do 7 plus 7 so 7 plus 7 is an integer but it still shows us decimal so let's uh, get this going so under here when left value is assigned uh, we need to check if our result so we will say double result exclamation dot uh, we need truncating remainder so we will uh, divide uh, so we are basically found finding the modulo so truncating remainder is a modulo for double so just pass in here one so if it's divisible by one so we will get zero right so let's say equal equal to zero then it means that it's an integer then what we do is so we will change our result equal to first we will uh, downcast our string to double and we will pass in result over here and cast it again and we will select the whole part and we will downcast the whole part to integer only if it's divisible by one so right uh, so if you let's assume uh, divide 6.0 by one you will get 
6, right? And remainder is 0. So cannot assign value of type int to type string. Okay, we need to do all this stuff in string interpolation. So, so make sure you do it like this. And this time it should work. So let's run it for the one last time. And let's hope it works. 7 plus 7 is 14. Let's do 7 multiplied by 0.2, which is, I get point, oh, 1 1.4, it works. So decimal, integer, play along. So let's do 8 plus 0 0.5. And let's divide this by 0 0.5. And we will see the like answer in integers. That's something. That is really something, okay? So this is the most fanciest calculator on YouTube right now. I believe so. So if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't forget to put them in comments. And please subscribe for my future videos because they are awesome.